France 3, uh, Chile 2 in this uh, friendly. Jules is still with us. We also welcome uh, Frank Leboeuf with us, who is watching this uh, for us. Frank, uh, improvement on uh, the game against Germany? <laughs> Obviously, and, uh, and happy to, uh, to see that. But when you start from scratch, you know, it's very easy to improve your game. And uh, <laughs> I have to say that uh, with the disappointing German uh, well, performance against Germany, you know, we were expecting something better. But it didn't start well. I'm still concerned about the fact we are too much, um, too soft maybe in the middle of the park in a way that we are kind of gambler. We are fantastic players in the middle of the park with Kim Kamavinga, Fofana, and, uh, and Chouamini, but the gamblers, I mean, they like to play and they, they sometimes do stuff that we, I would have never seen in my time and that we see too, too many times right now, ready to make, a, a, to try a nutmeg in, a, in, a, in our box and everything. So yeah, it was better overall. Uh, we had also some injuries like, uh, like some other teams like Klaus and, and uh, Kamavinga uh, being injured. It wasn't that great. I mean, it's too open. Uh, Chile had many, many chances to, uh, to score. But overall, uh, some players did their jobs, like Fofana, like Colomani was absolutely the player of the, uh, of the, of the game. And, uh, and it was nice to see Saliba, uh, because I, I really um, highly rank him. And I want Deschamps to change his mind and see him as uh, one of the, the best centre-back in the world. Well, you, you brought up Saliba, and we may as well address that now, Frank. And it's interesting how open Deschamps has been about Saliba and where he stands in the pecking order within this French side. It seems surprising that he's so critical of a player who's impressed so much in the Premier League, not just this season, but, of course, last year as well for Arsenal. Yeah, I was very surprised by his comment. Uh, he's not used to do that. Uh, he's mostly protective with the players that he's in charge with. Uh, and, but he was very open to Saliba, I think that some performances of what he saw sometime uh, 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 on the field wasn't what he was uh, expecting from a player like him. Uh, um, well, I guess we don't see the same thing. When I see Saliba playing every weekend, he's one of the strongest centre-backs in the world, and, uh, and without him, uh, we saw Arsenal struggling at the end of the season last season, and we see that how important he is for the, for the Gunners this season. So, yeah, I, I don't know, it's, uh, it's a human... A decision uh, what a coach does and what uh, Deshaun does, uh, picking some players. So I think personally, I think with Konate, that would be a fantastic pair. But Deshaun sees it otherwise with uh, uh, Pava uh, and uh, Upe Mecano, maybe. Uh, maybe he would change his mind uh, for the best of Saliba uh, because I really think that he deserved that position. This feels hey, personal, Joe. Can I jump? Can I jump <laughs> yeah, of course you can. <coughs> it's absolutely atrocious that an international manager would criticise a player who's not his player in the press. If you've got a problem with a player, you do it in private. Mm. And an international manager coming out and criticising one of the, the best centre-backs, arguably, on the planet right now is atrocious. And I hope that Mikel Arteta was the first person to pick up the phone or go and see him or wherever it is to stick his finger in his face and say, don't you talk about my players like that again, because it's absolutely 100% a no-no. How dare you talk about a player who's not even your player in those terms? I think it's an absolute joke. Particularly one that's not, that's still, whilst at club level, he went back to France on loan, was voted, I think, the young player in, in France a young, best young defender, whatever it was, came back to Arsenal, has been outstanding. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody will debate that. However, he's still, in international terms, trying to make his way. He's a bit of a novice when it comes to international football. And, and we get that. Maybe Deschamps likes a bit more experience. We, we, most of us would disagree. His defence looks like it could do with an absolutely solid... Uh, young, quick, strong defender likes a Saliba in there. And, and that's fine if he just thinks about it in a different way. But to come out, as Stevie said, and basically pick apart why he's not in the team mm. for a guy who is probably going to be, whether Deschamps is there or not, yeah. the bedrock of this French defence for quite some time to come, is a strange way to try and get the best out of a player. Very, very strange. What's the backstory here, Jules? 
I mean, it's, it's really interesting. I was, I was surprised. I think William himself was quite surprised, although nothing really phases him. So he moved on very quickly and he knew when Deschamps spoke in his press conference, no long after there was a training behind closed doors and, and William knew that he would start because he played with the starting 11 at training, the last training before the game. So he knew he had a chance to, to show Deschamps in a way after the comments in the press. And I think Deschamps is a very demanding coach. I mean, Frank played with him. He was a demanding captain at the time. I think he's a very demanding coach. I think he knows that maybe Saliba can be even better than what we've seen this season. And the only really reason why I can understand or see what he meant by saying, well, sometimes I see him doing things that I don't really like. And when he's played with us so far, which is true, he hasn't been at his best. And to be fair, Deschamps had put him in bad teams or like average teams and at times where he was injured. So he, had, he hadn't been easy for Saliba with the national team. But maybe Deschamps was like, I know he can be better. I know he can do better. I know how good he can be, even better than what we've seen so far in the Premier League, for example. So it was his birthday, I think, two days ago, when he turned 23. And this was almost like a present. And I think he did really well tonight to show Deschamps that there's, there's certainly more to come and better to come. He's still a young player, but that already for me over the two games, and obviously Chile are not Germany, they're not as strong, but of the four centre-backs, he was the best one of the four. He do things better. He can still do things better, which is fair enough. Every player can. Yeah. He wants to take a... Has he not watched any videos or games of a Pomecano? You know, that's the thing. No, he didn't play in there. That's why it's even more of a head scratch. You know, if a Pomecano's, you know, flying with Bayern, then it's a different conversation. He hasn't been playing well for, for quite some time. And so, <clears throat> look... He'll live and die by his decisions yeah. at, at the end of the day. Uh, but I don't see why you wouldn't try and get this guy in the side as often as you can, as early as you can, to prepare him for uh, this Euros coming up and make him feel as comfortable as you can because he's not, he's not going away unless he's just made up his mind that he's going to go a different route. I, I, I don't know, but I, don't, I think it's hard to imagine a French defence at the World Cup without William Saliba yeah. in it, but maybe Deschamps has got other ideas. Uh, last word to you, Jules, on what we learned from France over the last couple of matches. Um, I didn't think tonight was that reassuring, to be fair. I know it's a win, so you avoid the crisis of two games in a row without a win, for example. But Chile played well, and they, they, they to be fair, they, had, they played with a lot of intensity. There was a lot of movement. They have a new coach that played this style of football. Um, and they were, they were really on it. And nine changes from Deschamps, from the Germany defeat to the game tonight, then losing close very early, like Frank said, and then Kamavinga as well. So not ideal. They were good things at times with Colomani, Kylian a little bit in midfield. But overall, I just didn't think he was that reassuring. I think they would move on very quickly and not look forward to the Euros and be ready. But what we've seen, we've seen in the last two games, just, I don't know, it worries me a little bit.